So let's oh, no. let's let's start off with saying happy birthday to Aaron today. Happy yeah. birthday! He's what twenty seven now? He's a grown man. Yeah. Um, he's he's probably moving a step up from bubble guppies. So <laughs> <laughs> so let's start with that. Um, let's just get right into it, guys. You know how we usually do. I uh, hope you guys had a great weekend, by the way. Uh, so I'm having a lot of issues, and I'm pretty sure the rest of the world is having a lot of issues. With Helldivers 2 server. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> down. Oh my God. We were playing last night and, and even the, the night before I was playing. And it, all I kept getting was servers at capacity. Yeah. I read, like, I, I thought something was wrong on my end because it kept happening. But then whoever I was playing with were like already in the game. So I kind of like looked on Reddit and stuff and somebody, somebody had wrote, they were like, uh, how about, Everybody go fucking play outside. Like, <laughs> can we play our game, please? <laughs> it's like they went from Paul World to <laughs> the Helldivers. Bro, it's, like, it's not good. <laughs> uh, like, it, this game has a lot of potential, and it's so fun. Like, I love it. It's it's great when it works. But yeah. but the the it's just getting just past the title screen. That's the problem. We can't get past the title screen. I don't understand why. Because, like, during launch, like, we didn't have this this problem at all like i, I don't you know, know what, what i mean is. like I, they, I they definitely did a patch did they not they did like two or three patches that's already. what i'm saying so whatever yeah. they did they probably fucked it up where you see the title screen and then it's like oh retrying in 30 seconds and then you're waiting there for like 45 minutes and t- <laughs> you're like what the hell is happening yeah i don't i don't know man i just think like i don't know like i feel like uh like you might be on to some i think like there's too much for the servers to handle and too like, many people maybe- but my problem with that is, but you had this expect, like you had to expect, like it was going to be massive, like this, like exactly, exactly <laughs> what I was getting at. Like <laughs> you are a dedicated multiplayer platform, you know, I mean, not platform, but game. You should have tested hundreds of thousands and and thousands of people playing all at once, right? And would have seen that. I don't know how you guys test your games or whatever, but this is like. I, it's been a long time since I've seen a game do that. I've it's been a long time since I've ever experienced that issue. I, I think I had that experience back in like you know DC Universe Online, and that was like back in like 2011. Yeah, sure. we, yeah. <laughs> we have the technology to make things work. Is it, are we putting enough time and effort into checking if it works, or is it just like let's get it out? You know what I mean? All right. They should go back to the testing room, putting it out of beta first before. So they could test the servers out. And Agreed. Period, you know? Agreed. Like, again, I, I can't speak for all gamers, but me personally, I'm okay with waiting a little longer if you guys have to delay it because you're having issues. I don't want to get into the game and spend 40 fucking dollars and then get that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yep. I want to be able to just jump right in instead of, you know, waiting an hour to get just to the, like, past the title screen. Right. I, I don't want to deal with that. At, at one point, I was like this close i was like maybe that close to saying i want my 40 dollars back you know but but <laughs> because it's almost like you you this is what you paid for yeah like, but, <laughs> th- but then i didn't because i gave it a chance and then what that that last minute that i waited for um it ended up working and then once you're in you're in like you're playing you can play for as long as you like you're in it's just that that fucking title thing, dude. That <laughs> that gotta get fixed ASAP. It, it, and it's like on PC, it's like when you actually go into like when you launch it from Steam, it's like it's definitely not a Steam thing. But when I launched it, it's like the game doesn't even show. Nothing shows. It's, it's the blank it's screen. Definitely not your your PC. And bro. I really thought like for a second, like I'm like, yo, there's something wrong with my computer. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah, I can't I can't fathom how irritated i was the other day it was was ridiculous but the game's fun you know a team of four killing fucking cockroaches you know it's (laughs) and and uh fucking terminators it's fun 
you know, I got blasted by by Nick's fucking incoming missiles and shit. And he he I basically saved him because he was gonna get hit too. And I ended up diving and getting hit with it. It was my human shield. <laughs> oh, yeah, Nick was telling me about that. It's friendly fire. Oh can, my god, it's, it's hilarious. The, it's though. the worst enemy in the game, Don. I'm telling it you. Is. Like it's like it is. I don't understand but, why they don't have it on. Like oh, no, no, no. Oh. I, but it's great though. It's funny as shit. I think it's <laughs> hilarious that it's on. Because literally I was shooting. And then your friend came up and walked right in front of me. I think you did the same shit too. And it was like one <laughs> shot. I seen the actual bullet go behind his head and he just went forward and died. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, this shit is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so what I do now is when I'm like, I know I'm going to be in front of them. I crouch while I'm shooting. That way the bullets go over, the, over me instead of, you know, Got through it. me. <laughs> At least, true. at least it's more accurate than the Overwatch uh, problem they have right now with the glitch where for some reason Overwatch recently has like this glitch where you try to shoot at something, your enemy like off off mm -hmm. the, uh, the target and it still hits them even though it's like so off. So the hitbox is a little off, yeah. I guess. That's, that's <laughs> wild. Somebody probably like updated or moved something because while I'm working on Pizza Kid with my friend, um, we had one of our, our animators go in and like fix like fix, quote-unquote, fix something. He went to move something and, mm -hmm. and all the enemy's hitboxes were all fucked up. Oh, damn. And it's oh. it's just something he did in the code that just fucked everything up. Oh, so one slight adjustment. Yeah. yeah. Do that. Oh. It was all over the place. But the game's good. It's, it's worth $40 if it gets fixed. Mm -hmm. okay. I already spent my money, so I'm just going to let it sit there until it gets fixed. But I do plan on playing more of it 100%. It's definitely a game that, you know, you have a group of friends to enjoy with. Right. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, and it's, it's, it's becoming so popular because of the tasks, how much, how much content is in the game. Mm. Like, there's so much to offer in the game. It's just, this is the one problem we're having. Right. You know what I mean? Like, and I get it. Like, a, like a lot of games are making this kind of like a routine where it's like a lot of glitches, oh, issues yeah. at launch. Yeah. And I get it. But, you know, lately they kind of been having these problems right. too often. Patch after patch. Right. And yeah. then it's like, no, don't get me wrong. There's always going to be fans that still enjoy the game. They're not going to be like, well, I just spent $40. So I'm not going to, you know, <laughs> oh, refund yeah. it. But it does like for people that are looking to invest in the game that mm -hmm. deters them from buying it. Right. You know what I mean? Like, wow, well, I don't, why would I buy it now if it's having some problems? And right. you're smart for that. I, w <laughs> I, w I was a dumbass and I bought it anyway. <laughs> I bought it too. <laughs> I bought it too. But it's like, I don't know when the issues really started happening. Like, it really started happening maybe like the second week in to, I think this is what, uh, week three, I think. It's, I think it's, I think we're still on week two. Yeah, we're on week, week three, three, I guess. Yeah. 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 I think it's been three uh, weeks already since it came out. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure there's people out there who haven't experienced any of it and you guys are some lucky motherfuckers yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you that because right. this is brutal and another thing is when it, it's like you open this container thing that's like embedded in the ground it's like a, it looks flat and it kind of looks like a spaceship on the floor mm -hmm. and you open that casing it's like a tomb type thing you stand on it while you're opening and you get stuck Oh, okay. That's another thing that needs to get fixed. Mm. You got to like spin and then crouch or something just to get off of it because it like kind of latches you onto the the, the item. I'm mm. like, what is happening? But you get out eventually, but that needs to get fixed too. Oh, bugs. Mm. Yeah, it, it's it's that one's not major, but it, the server thing is the biggest thing that's pissing me off. Oh, I mean, I, there was one part. I don't know if this is like, you know, it's still like, again, it's still in early stages, but like I was standing on a rock and it was uh, like the rock turned invisible. <laughs> <laughs> I got a picture actually. Oh, you know what I mean? Like yeah, glitch, you, I put that up. Yeah, I'm gonna put that up in the video for Holy sure. Holy shit. Like, I'm just standing on a rock. Like Yeah, they it, need to learn something from from Call of Duty and you know Battlefield because they have like tons of people at on at at once and it just works. Like it oh, just yeah. fucking works. And and is that the only mode that they have so far where you go against those big Insect creatures. Yeah, or so, yeah. so inside, so when you get into the the, the world, uh, there's side missions inside. So you're like oh. you're either killing a horde of them, or you're you're killing nests, you're destroying nests, mm, okay, or you're like sending out signals to other people to help and stuff like that. Uh, or, mm. You know, there's like little side things inside each game, um, depending on. I've I remember I've only 
pl- I'm only level what five, mm-hmm. so I'm pretty early on. So I don't know what other exactly missions are are in there. Oh, wow. But I know there's like a little handful of different activities to do while you're in there. Okay. All right. Yeah, it gives cool. you like a little tiny little planet that you, I mean map that you work off of, and you mm-hmm. can literally explore the whole thing. Oh, and you can extract whenever you're ready. Oh. Okay. I mean, they kind of give you a timer, though. Yeah, it's, they do. It's, it's like an hour, maybe. Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. It tells you before the mission starts how long that that extra you have to get it done. Yes, yeah. yeah. So you're literally what we do is is that we start to just look at all the side missions first. Mm-hmm. We explore the entire planet, get all the samples and everything, all the extra XP. Right. And then we go and do like the the main shit. Oh, like okay. These, like we have to destroy nests or. Or we had to send out that signal in that one mission or something like that. That's like the main, it switches depending on what, what planet you're on. Got you. So it's kind of like a farming system where you get up all your ammo and all your materials you need before you go into a game. Well, like you they, you have a, um, this the, you, so all your stuff are coming from orbit. Okay. So they're coming from the ship above you. And you get to, uh, it gives you a list. So you hold like, uh, for PlayStation, it's L1. And then it gives you like a little toggle thing. Like if you're doing a cheat code. So oh, it's like yeah. up, down, left, right, stuff like that. Yeah. So it tells you, you can resupply. Like, oh. so you can send a resupply, you know, cash to come down. And it, you, it gives you all the ammo. Oh, cool. But, and then okay. you got to let it cool down. It's probably like 15 seconds or 20 seconds that it'll cool down. And they can do another one. Oh, gotcha. But like, <clears throat> as a team... That that supply goes for all of us. Oh, okay. So if I use it, he won't be able to use it until the cooldown. Damn. The cooldown's <laughs> actually like five minutes or something. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, depending on what item you're using, yeah. the, the restock is usually like 20 seconds. Like, it's not that bad. Okay. And you have enough ammo to survive for that 20 seconds. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, and then you have like uh, big, you know, bombs coming down and stuff like that. Mm. You have uh, napalms, like flame stuff coming yeah. down. Like oh, it's, yeah. it's a bunch of different shit. Hmm. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Like uh, as far as like other objectives is, I'm mm-hmm. I'm guessing you're asking like there's oh, not yeah. there's not a lot of like game types. It's okay. kind of just like one game. No, it's just in that planet you do the, the missions, whatever, right. the, whatever, because it's random. So yeah, whatever thing you. is in there is it's it's what it is. You're okay. a futuristic exterminator. <laughs> that's yeah. what you are. Like you kill bugs. For a living. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was a there was a movie. I don't remember what it's called. Star Troopers, something like that. Something Troopers. That kind of has similar bugs and similar, you know, costumes and stuff like that. So I think they referenced off of that. I forgot what the the fucking thing was called. Mm. I was about to say this kind of reminds me of an anime I'm watching. Uh, it's, it's an older anime that came out like the early 2000s called Blue Gender, and it, it said that same concept. It's like yeah, Star Troopers. That's what it was. Star Troopers. Yeah. yeah, they're like military officers, and they go around going against like these big insect creatures on Earth. Interesting. And, yeah, it's kind of similar to that. I was like, oh, hmm. it's a good game. Not a bad game. So, I mean, though. you can't beat the price, though. I mean, for a thirty dollars game. Oh yeah, that's forty. Good. I pay 40, 40. forty. So, if you know someone who has it and you can get the information that the servers are working perfectly fine, <laughs> then spend the forty dollars. That's it. <laughs> yeah. If, I give, it, if I, it if it goes down to like ten bucks, then you can get it for whatever, because then you just sits there until it gets fixed. I give it about maybe, maybe maybe a few more weeks in, and they'll probably. Be able to fix it. I problem. hope so because I want to play it more. I know. I feel like yeah. they they know that, and I feel yeah. like a lot of people are complaining on their their actual community sections on when their websites and emails and shit. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? Like right. I'm sure like they're getting the message. I don't know what the pro what's the hold up, but maybe it's taking mm-hmm. some time. But I'm sure they're gonna get this fixed, yeah. right? Because they're gonna lose money if they do. Like <laughs> yeah. they don't, dude. They, yeah, if I, they want to keep up with Power World, <laughs> you know. Yeah, dude. Power World's not having this problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, another thing is like. I don't like that they put the microtransactions in there and then oh, had yeah. you pay $40 on top of that. Oh, oh. yeah. That was the gimmick. Like, like it, that's <laughs> it makes more sense yeah. if the game was free and then you put the microtransactions, but right. no, you, you got us paying $40 and then you and have to pay another <laughs> thing. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. It's like $10. Not, not feeling that too much, but <laughs> $10, like for what? And, and it's like, it's, not, it's almost like you're only paying for the armor pieces. Oh, they don't really wow. do anything. They there's just, there's uh, weapons in there that you can get. Yeah, but then it's like you can do the point system and that can take... Well, there's two uh, different tiers. Oh, so yeah, the point system right. is for all the free shit. And then the other the other tier is the, better is, shit. is the better weapons and stuff. That they <laughs> How much use. they want you to pay for that? I don't even know. <laughs> you got to buy platinum shit that they call it, I think. Um, but I can see people buying into it already. Probably. Like they probably already do. Yeah. 
Didn't your boy buy, buy something? Yeah, he bought a prosthetic leg. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you at least unlock it if you like level up or something? Like uh, organically? No. Oh, no. No, the, no, no. The free version. There's dirt. Like the tiers are different. So there's a free battle pass and then there's a paid battle pass. Oh. You get two different items. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, yep. So it's like, um, yeah, you don't really get to uh, buy a lot of stuff. Like, you know, free stuff is, mm-hmm. is what you would say because they really want you to grind for some of the free stuff. And, right. You know, actually hunt the... Not hunt, but like go around the planet and actually search for the materials that you need. Mm-hmm. And, you know, do the side missions that they don't really tell you to do. Like, they don't really show you. You don't necessarily oh, have really? to do it. Oh, you don't have right. to. You just do the main mission and then leave. I wish they would tell you where they are, though, sometimes. Like, we actually have to oh, go yeah. looking for the side missions. Yeah, yeah, so if you look at the map, it shows like little red spots. And those are like the the nests or the, the holes where the things come out oh, of. Oh, gotcha. So those you destroy and then... The side mission is where you really have to look for because they don't tell you where it is. Oh, right. they really want you to look for that. Yeah, yeah. but by yeah. that time you're you've already like collected so much shit, mm-hmm. and then like when you're at the end of it, it says you collected everything. I will. You got max experience. I okay. will stand by on this. I feel like they should definitely add like if they're gonna add some more things into the game, they should mm-hmm. definitely add like a vehicle. Or like a bike or something. I that would like, be cool. Like a little thing and then yeah. I jump in the back like Halo. Like that, that's what I'm like, like with a mini gun. Yeah, yeah Warhog. Yeah. yeah. Like something like that. Yeah. That I just feel dope. like this yeah. whole running shit, it takes too long. Like, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I was about to say, how big is the map? Like, it's oh, like, man, it's pretty big. I mean, okay. it's it's different planets that you're going to. Oh, okay. The, the map is pretty big for four people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you're walking slow as shit. That's, That's what another thing. <laughs> speed up, speed up the walking, please. <laughs> so, because once you're out of stamina, you're fucking walking. You're and just it's walking. Like, yeah. it's slow as camel dicks, dude. It's, it's not good. Like it's still, stranding. <laughs> it still feels like it's it's not polished yet. It's, you know what I mean? Like, but I think they did that for realism because if you're running with all that heavy shit, you're it's you're gonna, gonna be, be slow. Oh, yeah. And because if you walk into like bushes and shit, he's like. Moving yeah, like he's like moving. And, like, oh, yeah. It tells you that you're going slow. Oh, like you yeah. slow down. So it's like affects every the environment affects you. Right. So I mean, again, the game is good. Just fix the servers, please. Just fix the servers. Add some more things in there. I mean, I don't feel like I, we're not asking for too much here. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure they'll come out with like some crazy DLCs and they'll be like, "You got to pay another thirty dollars." <laughs> I mean, if it gets me a bike, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I'll pay yeah. for a bike that looks like Batman's bike that has guns on the side. Yeah, that yeah that's what I'm saying. Like, I'll do something like that. Like, 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 another thing, if you guys ever listen, or you know people who, who work with the company, like, imagine throwing, like, those orbital things, and then having, like, a, a, a support ship come down and just lay out the whole that fucking be, place. That would be dope. pretty dope. That would be dope. That drone yeah. that he had last night, man. That shit. Yeah, like, I understand, <laughs> like, there's bombs, like, giant missiles and, like, fucking mini nukes and shit like that, but imagine, yeah. like, a fucking plane coming down and just hovering over you for, like, maybe a minute, mm-hmm. helping you just clear them out. That would be pretty fucking dope. <laughs> like in Call of Duty, the ass clapper 1000. Yeah. <laughs> that shit where just nuked the yep. whole shit. Yep, that's what I'm saying. Just, like, do some crazy <laughs> shit like that. And I do like when the bomb hits, it leaves a crater. That's pretty dope. That is oh, dope. dope. Yeah. It destroys everything around. And it stays oh, like that. It's not yeah, like stay, it, yeah, it, it stays like it that. doesn't go away. Oh, cool. <laughs> it doesn't so, like phase away or nothing. No, it stays more immersive. There. Pretty, yeah, it's pretty dope. Yeah. And I actually like 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 when you actually shoot the bugs and everything, you get covered in their like their yeah, bugs. Their bugs. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. Oh, it's pretty dope, cool. man. I'm telling you. Like they kept it real close to like realism and when it comes oh, to nice. the game. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Immersive. Right. Yeah, so this guy's thinking about getting a PS5 for Stellar Braids, so that's another Ooh, game. Yeah. yeah. So that's another thing you can get. Yeah. And play with be, us. That'll be pretty dope. Yeah, for sure. Stellar Blade might be it, Don. Yeah, that might be game. <laughs> I keep looking at the gameplay. Yeah, he's double checking. He's like, mm, Stellar Braid, though. Stellar Blade. Yeah. See, if Aaron was here, he'll probably be like, nah, it's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> to each his own. Everybody likes their shit. We see um, by April. Yeah, so do, 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 like the action news shit. Do, 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 do. <laughs> in, in other news, uh, Xbox has four games coming to Switch and PS5. So, and, uh, and uh, we're adding on to that is that Xbox is apparently, you know, still working on a next gen console. I don't know how, I mean, you guys can comment and tell us how you feel about that, but, uh, yeah. you know, all that shit that the rumors and leaks that we were going through and uh, they were pretty much shit. Yeah. Weren't fully true. But uh the four games are Hi Fi Rush, Sea of Thieves, uh Pentiment, and Grounded. Pentiment is no, no thank I was you. about to say Gra- <laughs> Grounded might get away with it because Grounded is pretty fun when you're playing with people. 
Sea of Thieves, no I thank you. I don't get why that's still a thing. Like, what, Sea of Thieves? Yeah. Yeah, that was like when they fucking launched like a Game Pass. <laughs> <laughs> no thank you. People are having fun with it, apparently. I played it for a little bit. And I'm like... I remember we I played can't, together. I can't, I can't be at sea like this the whole time. Yeah. It's fucking boring. It's <laughs> boring. It's boring to me. And then Hi-Fi Rush it's is probably the, the best, best thing that's on there. Yeah, because that seems like something that'll be on Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I was about to say that's like the best contender for the matchup for the Switch. I don't personally give a fuck about any of these games because I don't play my Switch like that anymore. I've been playing on um, my Steam Deck and my PS5. But yeah. for, you know, those who do like those games, those games will be coming to Switch and PS5. Yeah. Um, I was like, Phil Spencer, you're not slick. I could see why you put these particular games and not like sound like Hellblade 2 on there because, you know, that's going to be the one on Xbox. <laughs> yep. like, we're not putting our expensive <laughs> shits on there, but we're going to put our little... Well, well he, I feel like he needs it at this point yeah. because he's losing money. <laughs> you know? yeah. He needs yeah. it. Like, no, he's putting that 9, that 10, that 8. You know, he's putting those down and he's keeping his aces in his hand. Right. Yep. Play this smart. You know, try to... Get more people off of that platform. Yeah, and yeah. then uh, he's there. Were there's, they are going to continue to work on the next gen console. So, kudos to those guys who were you know having heart attacks and stuff about you know not having any more Xbox things happening. Yeah. So you guys can get excited for that one. Well, the rumors are uh, you know everybody that's been talking about this whole like oh well you know they're not making any more consoles or anything going forward. It's like that's that's actually. Cool. Like, I mean, most <laughs> people are actually happy that that's not actually happening. You know? Oh what yeah, I mean? like, of course. Because well, people spend so much money on just getting that the newer Xbox from uh, twenty twenty. They just—it's only been like four years, for them. right? You know what I mean? Like, it's literally, not, it's not long <laughs> enough. Like, rumors dead. Like, so now you guys know that there will be continuing on for more systems and stuff yeah. like that. So, and a possible Pro Xbox Pro, whatever they're gonna call it. So Activision is still in the works. <laughs> it's still, <laughs> still, it's still alive. Yep. Still alive. All right, that's okay. good. Um, well, you guys can comment. You know, tell us what games you guys are excited for coming to systems uh, that you have. If, if you don't have an Xbox, uh, just let us know. We're we're curious to know how you guys feel about that. Um. So our next thing is we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, X-Men 97. That's the remake. I, I'm kind of kind of excited for that because I did like the original, you know, that little song. Oh, yeah, the classic. It's, it's great. And you got their original costumes and stuff. It's It looks pretty well animated. They kind of kind of stayed to like that original aspect of it. Yeah, like the 90s. Yeah, so. I definitely like where they're going with it. And they got all the same voice actors too. Was, that, that's pretty dope. Except uh, Drew Belize. she's not. She's the only one they switched. But. Okay. Yeah. See, like I like the whole. Uh... <laughs> He's so cross-eyed though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like this whole like retro. Whoever did the editing for this was pretty dope. Like I like how it just clo- goes right into the new style. Oh, yeah. Like it started from old style and then new mm-hmm. style. That's right. pretty dope. It kind of reminds me of the, the Budokai Ten- Tenkaichi trailer where they show yeah. like the TV. Yeah, I like stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, like, this is pretty dope. A lot of people was questioning, like, is this alluding to, like, Professor X dying in the series? Like, him dying... I didn't see the last episode. Did he actually die? Um, I don't know. I haven't seen it in years, so I don't... Yeah, I haven't seen it in a while. I don't remember him dying, though. Like, you you have, like, a newer animation, but it's still kind of sticking to that comic book feel. Yeah. Keep buzzing in my ear. Keep buzzing in my ear. (laughs) (laughs) There's the theme song. It's iconic, bro. Yeah. I'm not huge on X Men, but when I was watching this when I was a kid, you know that was like the version of X Men that I remember is these guys. Right. It's great. Uh, Gambit was probably like my all time favorite character, <laughs> next to Nightcrawler. Oh yeah, yeah Nightcrawler is my favorite. Yeah. Wolverine for sure for me. Now, Nightcrawler, oh, so- Nightcrawler. I usually <laughs> like in the video games and for Sega and shit. Like uh, I, I used to pick Nightcrawler a lot. But uh, Gambit was like once I got him. Was, oh yeah, yeah he was my favorite. Wait, why is Jean pregnant? Holy shit! <laughs> I didn't know what to say. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't even know she was pregnant. <laughs> Who's that black dude in the back? <laughs> Hold back. on, pause that for a second. Pause that shit. Oh, that's uh, that's um, damn, I forgot Cage? His... No, no, no. That's Bishop. Yeah, Bishop, oh, the Bishop. time traveler oh, guy. Oh yeah, I forgot yeah. about him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot about Bishop. Yeah. But a lot of people are complaining about this bald white creature. Is that yeah, Surfer? what is what is that? Silver like, Surfer, why? Right? No. no, who's that? Oh, I don't it's know. A, it's like a new character from a, a, a new. Was he in the comic. he was in the, in the original? No, he wasn't. No. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. A lot of people are like, who is that? And like, 
It's a lot of controversy so there, going on. So there's three new characters. Whoever's mm-hmm. in uh, Bacon in the Oven. Yeah. Also, remember, guys, this is like kind of a remake of 97. So it's not going to be accurate to the original. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're going to add a lot of Disney crumbles in there, what they're doing right now. But... It's pretty wild. Uh, 